Hope all you swabbies are still awake. Late Night Mega here. And we're back with 12th place. Parmesan's favorite. He gave it a 94. Okay. And Freem's was a 66. Oh, it's by Snorrent Pyro. Celestial Resort. Okay. Why is this over here? If I can't go that way? Celestial Resort. This looks like a a haunted house. I like the music, though. I don't know if it really fits the atmosphere here. Neat little challenge with the fires. I like that the candles are being used as indication for that. Okay, the fires are going in different raids now, and that's throwing me off. That's... Oh, can I just not kill those enemies? Usually they take one shot. Well, I'll try next time. I demand this place be thrown into complete darkness. I have to try elsewhere. Yeah, I have to try elsewhere. Oh. Okay, well that can't kill me. Oh, wow. Those still... I, I'm doing it poorly. That was entirely my fault. That's a unique way to use those gyro blocks. That is for sure. Oh, I missed... Ladder. Mega Man, why are we missing the ladder? Oh, there was a fire there. I totally didn't even see that fire. I saw that fire, it just. didn't. Have... The fires are going at different paces, which is what I'm not liking about it. Right, let's give this another go. Yeah, I should be over on this side, yeah. Oh, hey, that was intense. I would like another checkpoint here soon. Okay. I'm just not handling this stage well. I have to do this up in here. Okay, that's how you're supposed to do that. Okay, there's a checkpoint. I feel like there should have been another checkpoint in there. <laughs> We're doing the gyro blocks that are going up, and then you stand on them and they're going down. Uh, I, I was on the platform? I don't fully understand what happened there. Oh my gosh, screen transitions. Did this whole thing just glitch out on me? It did.
I feel like this is the type of gimmick and gimmick combination that if I played through this stage enough times, I could get the hang of it. Well, this is just... Not, okay, like that. Really now? Okay. And then I'm way back here. I don't want to have to repeat all this stuff. I want more checkpoints in this stage. Still took a hit there. For a moment, I didn't know if that block was even going to drop. Are these gyro blocks programmed to drop out at different time intervals based on... Yeah, see, that one dropped out, like, right away. And then the other one, like, wasn't dropping out. There's some inconsistency going on here. I'm supposed to do something kind of like that. I still can't get through there without getting hit. Ah, it, that that guy spam attacked me. Carmen John, how are you even competent enough to play this stage well? So I'm having just a heck of a time. Okay, there's how we get through that. I still felt fairly uneasy with that. Oh, really? Nope. Okay, so trying to shoot the thing on the way up, which I've done twice now, which is kind of like the natural thing you want to do with those enemies, has killed me. I mistimed that. Though I've got the right idea on how to dodge that. And now I'm just mistiming things. Okay. We're finally up here. I don't... This is like three different things we need to... I don't like this stage. I'm just gonna put that out there right now. I, I don't even think I can use that. I'm gonna use Rush to get through that. I don't want to die to fires, of all things. We have die. This is a cool idea, but these blocks are dropping at inconsistent times. Yeah, that was a cool challenge. Still haven't been able to try up oh, hey, hey, hey. walking on me. Let's see you could do that. I guess those are kind of meant to be obstacles. Which I'm good with. Mm -hmm. 
I just cannot time things today. And I'm way back here. There's a lot of instant death in this stage for... how far back we're going. That worked. I still felt uneasy about that. Okay, I guess that's how we do that one. Ah. Gonna really Why can I not do this? Can't just stand there. It's just not. Hey, like I said, I I was uneasy about doing that. It's best to just tank a hit there to get on the platform. Yeah, I saw that coming. The ones I want to be going on are the ones I'm not timing it well. I went away, those guys can go away. Do not just knock me off. Really? Okay, we're gonna be here for a while. Okay, so I know I really like some of those challenges in, like, the Crabicombs or the other, uh, that icicle stage. Half my deaths, I feel like, are just kind of cheap. I don't know how I did all this without getting hit. I feel like it's more luck than skill. This one's more skill. Now that's just sliding, is what that is. Like, this whole section... Feels like I'm just entirely at the mercy of these guys. Oh, really? I am not liking that spot. Yeah, I guess all the deaths I didn't take in the Kravicombs or in the Icicle stage are coming to haunt me here. Uh, this is the... Well, we finally get to demonstrate the issue with having these sorts of challenges and not enough checkpoints. Which, by the way, I did say the Kravicombs and the high school stage did not have enough checkpoints. This stage does not have enough checkpoints. Because I don't like having to repeat all this stuff.
because it's not the most fun and engaging thing to repeat. Nope, that just gets me into the... Okay, I need... B... So I don't just die to damage. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about all this. There's like not much I can do about this stuff from this angle. Nope, I would have got hit on the thing from... Why can I not time this? You know, this music reminds me of that restaurant music. Yeah, I know I did that wrong, but... My issues are mostly instant death related. Alright, get me... Okay, there's that. I don't like this stage. And that guy just... he has disappeared every single time. I haven't been able to do this yet. Because I'm trying to concentrate on dodging these guys, because if I don't, I'm gonna get... I can't concentrate on making the jump and dodging that thing at the same time. And timing that. It's not just making a jump, it's timing the thing. And you have to time it between two of those shots. Are you serious? That, that happened again. I hate this whole section. Can we put a skip teleporter in this stage? I just have a really hard time imagining this being Karma John's favorite stage. And yet, wasn't he one to really complain about the icicle and crabicombs? Yeah, off timing there. I don't like this stage. Oh, I can just rush coil that one. I've done it enough times legitimately. I just fall off the thing. Okay. That give me those bolts. May as well have a consolation prize. Okay, so here, 
I just want those things to go away. Beat. Well, that's my question on that. Can I? Or I can just. Yeah, we we knew that was gonna happen. Maybe I'll use Flame Mixer, and hopefully I don't have to worry about those things. Uh, but anyways, this is the type of thing that could happen in the uh, Icicle or Crabicombs and have to repeat the same section many times over and over due to lack of checkpoints. The stage needs way more checkpoints. Nope, that timing's off. I just need to time it around flames there. Oh, I don't know why that was so difficult. I, I don't even care about the E-Tank right now. And yet I can do that so easily. This actually looks fun now. Alright, let's try and put the previous sections past us. Something down there looks like it's going to be horrible. I knew it! Oh, and we have him too. Oh! I hate this idea. I hate this idea so much. I don't even know which one of those I wanted to land on. I mean, obviously none of them. At least what I'm repeating there to get back to this isn't that bad. Oh, I just... Yeah, we knew that was gonna happen. Because not only do you have to... The issue with this gimmick is not only do you have to time landing on those fast-moving platforms, you also have to time that they're going to start dropping. And then you've got all sorts of angles and stuff going on with that. And then when you have those guys spawning on top of it, it's just not a fun experience. Those things move fast.
I'm really curious what Parmesan's playthrough of this stage looked like. We've been here 25 minutes already. Yeah, I don't like this gimmick. I, I have now... Snorrent Pyro has invented a new gimmick for me to hate. These flames I don't mind. The flame, the flame parts have been fine, it's just everything involving these gyro blocks. This is just not the thing you should be doing with gyro blocks. I hate this stage. I get through and I do the thing and I still didn't get the key. Oh. I, I feel like this shouldn't be as bad as I'm making it out to be, but... Screen transitions! Oh my gosh, Snore and Pyro, you should know better. Now if I die here, I have to redo that part again. And I'm not doing this with that thing. Okay, I am doing it with that thing smart. Screen transitions! Oh my gosh, the stage functionality penalty. Just everything. No. I want a checkpoint. Not doing that. Oh, look at that. I'm dodging this stuff mostly fine. This, these challenges, I don't mind at all. But some of these spots in the stage, and it's all around those gyro block platforms. And those spawners. Okay, there's no boss, that's fine. I made it to my hotel room. Parmesan, just how? I love this level. You're fired again. <laughs> it's really creative. I will give it creativity. It has phenomenal uses of all of its assets, especially the gimmicks. The falling platforms on generators are horrible and feel like a terrible idea without getting rid of what the gimmick really does. Yeah, those things going so quickly, and timing that, and then timing the dismount because it's they're falling too. Is it, oh. and then it's not just like maybe if it was just because because some of the parts earlier on where it was just the gyro platform spawners was okay, but that whole. When you're dealing, when you're trying to time those and line up timing on that between that and fire, and then you've got those spawning enemies coming and launching projectiles all over the place, making it so difficult to time things because you have to time it between falling and landing on the platform and the enemy shots. That's just that's too much. The flames are always telegraphed and predictable, while still being, being challenging. Uh, the level's highlights are the individual challenges, as almost all of them are amazing. Minus, like, five of them. 
making the camera focus on different screens without having real transitions was a horrible idea and gave the level a tier 1 feel that you usually don't see this high in the contest. This level also looks great. It has a consistent atmosphere and it just really it just felt really fitting the whole way through. I have two issues though. Really I have about 20. One, sometimes <laughs> Look at this, look at this. Sometimes the flying enemy shots get too chaotic and it's too difficult to dodge the flurry of bullets. I don't mind dodging the flurry of bullets, just not while I'm in the middle of trying to jump on those hyper fast spawning gyro platforms. That's where it gets too much. Not always, but just a mild reduction, especially near the last key. Not last key gates, but the, no, no, that was not the problem spot. That was a fine spot. That gives me something to do while all those gates are opening. I liked that spot. Two, checkpoints are too scarce. Yeah, yeah, we've, yeah. The individual challenges are really good, but there are too many in each section. Making each section have one last challenge or so would make the level so much more manageable. I wouldn't even remove any of them, just make it so that you go through the first few challenges less times. That's kind of what I've said about the Icicle and Crabicomb levels. Um, but in the difference in those stages, I know I took far less deaths in those stages, okay? Um, but the difference in those stages, when I did die in those stages, I felt that it was on me to make improvements or adjustments, whereas some of the spots I was dying on here just felt like I needed to get lucky. Especially that one spot where I had to drop in the things and there was no... yeah. I just had to get lucky. And that's why I really didn't like this these challenges. Uh, there were a lot of good challenges to the stage, though. I'm, I'm not going to take that away, but the, the negatives... While the negative spots are probably very few in the grand scheme of all the good stuff this level had, they are casting a huge shadow over the good stuff. For me. Okay, but after doing them ad nauseum, they get a bit dry. Yes, despite that... This is still a highlight of the whole contest. Good job. That's a good usage of the of the fire spikes. Clearly marked areas where they appear, making it reasonable to dodge them. And oh boy, the gyro platforms were used really creative. I, I will admit that was a really creative use. It was just not good execution in a handful of points. And dang, it worked really well. The one gripe I have is the last stretch with all the keys. No, that part was fine because there weren't gyro spawners there. It got a bit bullet hell happy with the enemies at the top. I handled that so much better than I did. Yeah, well, you saw. You've been seeing this for the past half hour. Which distracted from the main challenge of getting all the keys, sadly. Are you people doing the parts I struggled with, but struggling with the parts that I loved and did great at? I... I, I don't know. I need to, like, take a nap after the stage. With every death I faced in this level, and there were a lot of them, there was only one thought coursing through my head. You should know better than this. MJack gave this a fun score of 10 out of... 25. I respect that fun score. Um, I might have given it a little bit more fun points because the sections, the parts I did like, were a lot more fun. Well, I gotta go with my creativity, my fun level overall, I guess. Because when a stage is making me say I hate this stage while I'm playing the stage... Yeah, the, the really fun parts did get overshadowed, and if those few parts and checkpoints were fixed, um, 
I could easily give this a fun score of like 20 or 25. But that's not the case. Uh, because this level clearly is not the work of an amateur. Its core gimmick requires somewhat advanced knowledge of custom spawners to pull off, and the use of soft borders and animated tile sets wouldn't even occur to someone who hasn't spent some time screwing around with the Mega Mix engine. And the actual challenges in the level are interesting and mostly fair. Except for like five of them. So why is this level's checkpoint placement so bad? I mean, there is evidence in this level to suggest the designer was aware the level was hard. Uh, what with how little damage the spikes do. Four. The fire... Are you talking about the fire spikes? What other spikes were in this? Playing that there was some last minute number change meant to make the level easier. Oh, do the, do the flames normally do like seven or something? I don't know. But the level's not hard because of the spikes. Okay, it must be the fire spike thing he's referring to. Okay. It's hard because of the lack of checkpoints and the omnipresence of bottomless pits in a level with really finicky platforming. Thank you! M-Jack got it right! How did M-Jack get this right? And you know, it's not like there was a lack of places to put checkpoints in this level. There were plenty of places they could have been inserted that wouldn't have been awkward. Before that long vertical section, for starters. Uh, I would have liked it after the long vertical section. But I, I get the... Other than the lack of checkpoints, I think this level presents a really cool and novel set of challenges. Both with the falling blocks and the fire spikes and occasionally with those two gimmicks in concert. This level struggles a little to have their cycles match up, albeit not to the extent of some other levels. I was not super enthused by the rapid fire falling block sections, which feel like they were banking on the player having as many platforms to stand on as they need, but don't take into account that the platforms stop spawning once you get out of the spawner's range. I was actively angry at the final challenge, which replaces the level's cool gimmick, gimmicks with a featureless hallway where you have no room to dodge an egregiously large swarm of Watans. You need to watch my playthrough of this stage because that was actually a fun part of this. You're just terrible at dodging. How can you be so bad at... You know, I was this close to rehiring M-Jack from, from the evaluation on this, and then, and then this, and then this. I think this level could have been, uh, could have been top 10 material with some very minor fixes. The gimmicks are cool, the aesthetic is low-key cool, and there's a lot of rad challenges but it falls short on account of some unfocused fouls. A real disappointment, despite all the good stuff here. Spot on comments except for that, that hallway. Frames. Also, I would probably give this the exact same score and... No, function, function goes down to 5 out of 10 for those those screen transitions were so... They felt so buggy. And they felt so... And, and they even caused the, the one spawner to just not spawn the first time. And I was really confused. Um, and it felt very janky. Because I'm like trying to deal with an enemy. And then the screen jerks around and does that. Yeah, function would be lower. Um... I'd give it, you know, probably full score on the creativity and aesthetics, though. Full score function can be like 4 out of 10. Uh, and design will... would have to go down a bit. 
due to lack of, because I think, I think checkpoint placement falls under design. Uh, although it is also related to the fun, but yeah. Overall score, I, I would have a right around the 70 mark. It's kind of funny. This game took so long for anything to get done that I went from thinking this was just some random design to getting the reference. Funny how that works. I think out of all the levels in this contest, this is the one that makes me the most sad. It makes some really solid use out of its two gimmicks. The fire finds ways to stay engaging despite being so simple, and the unique use of the gyroman blocks puts some spice into how the level design works. Both of them at the same time sometimes sucks because the two aren't always aligned and it's not the end of the world. Everything is introduced well enough. The enemies are generally in good positions, so on and so forth. Well, except for that those enemy spawners when you're trying to deal with the gyroman platform spawners at the same time. In a perfect world, the worst thing I'd have to say is that the very vertical screens are annoying because they're super punishing given how the gyro blocks work, and falling down these things is always the worst thing ever in Mega Man games. Okay, so actually checkpoint at the bottom of the vertical section and checkpoint past the vertical section and checkpoint past the annoying spot after that. Well, actually there was a checkpoint there. But then another checkpoint after you get that one key that was horrible. Anyways. Except the level just keeps going and going and going and by the end I'm just so completely burnt I don't want anything to do with these things anymore. The difficulty curve reaches its natural peak, and then it keeps going. It goes from, oh, there's another section, to this section where you get key after key, and it's so very easy to make one mistake and fall in the pit. Especially the two gyro blocks firing toward the key about halfway through. That it just sapped all enjoyment I was having straight out of me, to the point where I open three key doors in a row, Realize there's more, and I just want nothing more than for this to end. Although, the stuff that was after that, where he had to collect like the six, that whole section was fine, because there was no gyroman spawning platforms, though I can totally relate with the burnout by that point. Um, also, part of that burnout is due to lack of checkpoints and poor... Well, just lack of checkpoints. It goes beyond what's fun into a tedious mess, and I wish with all my heart it just ended earlier. It just ends the entire thing on this huge sour note. Alas, our hubris of what we can do versus what should be done will always be our downfall. Quote from someone really fancy, I'm sure. So yeah, I said this in the... Icicle and Crabicomb stage, they needed more checkpoints. Just like this stage, needed more checkpoints. Because without checkpoints, uh, without enough checkpoints, you get an experience like I had on this stage. And I fully respect that, that people could have the same similar experience on the Icicle and Crabicomb stages too. Um, and that's why I say the biggest thing those two stages had wrong was lack of checkpoints. This was lack of checkpoints, and I had issues with that gyro spawning gimmick. Um, did I ever talk to the... Okay, well I talk to that now. Sliding down this pipe is fun, but I'm too big for it. I tried to go through anyway but I got stuck halfway down. Lifeguard scolded me real hard when he found out. Uh, we're gonna take that, we're gonna take that. Today, oh is this a life, you're a lifeguard? They hired me as a secondary lifeguard, but I sink like a rock in water. Not to mention you die in water? I don't think whoever's in charge here is very smart. 
Although maybe you don't really die in water, because, you know, the whole... There was a stage <laughs> earlier where you were in water. Uh, please, son, give me a second. I've got a small problem I need to take care of. I want to go to another simulation right now. We've just been sitting around, Dad. I'm so bored. Look, son, Dad just lost his credit card. And once we find it, we can go... Oh, hey. Just a bit of a situation happening right now. Credit card? You wouldn't happen to be... Tomothy Daddy, would you? Oh, yep, that's me. Do you have my credit card or something? No, but I talked to an old lady who did. Let me go find... If she had just realized that she never gave me her number. Or any contact info. Well, that's not great. Well, it's a lead, at least. If you find anything, come back to us here. Dad, we should go. I'm bored. Er, fine, fine. Let's go. I need to take my mind off this anyways. Let's go somewhere relaxing. A city in the clouds or something. How does that sound? Yeah, awesome. So they're going to Cloudy City. If they didn't disappear, I would have, like, done the thing. Okay, next time we're going to start it. There's... Elect... The fire spikes are back. I'm fine with the fire spikes being back. I don't care for the pointer enemies. Um, yeah, next time I'm going to start off doing the that side quest while it's fresh in my mind and because things are elsewhere. But I am taking a break from this recording session after this, this mess. Uh, yeah. But we're going to ride the slide. We're going to end on a happy note. Oh, hey, we are going through the background parts of the slide. Whee! Alright, well, for now, I'll take my leave. <laughs>